Mac and Pops players. Today we got some pops that we picked up recently. Then we got a box all the way from Canada from a Funko Illuminati. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're back. So we're gonna start with the pops that we picked up, then do the Canada box last from Funko Illuminati. Mm -hmm. So, some of these are the ones that we picked up from Walmart, and we got this uh, cool the Funko Mandalorian, Mandalorian tray. So at the stores, they probably had what six or seven of these. Yeah. And each one had like a different nice. child pop in it. So, um, and yeah, you see, it fits six, so three across pretty that good. way, and then three in the back. So, um, first, what'd you pick up? So we picked up the um, child with frog. This one's really funny looking. If you put mm -hmm. the black light on that frog, it looks a whole different color. Oh, yeah. So I think it's like blue. You've been checking the black light on every pop lately, haven't you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. This yeah. one we didn't just pick up. This is just the common one. It's yeah. just in this tray. Because we're going to keep all of our child pops and in this tray. This one, the force field in Bibiota. Oh, I forgot. It's got that sticker force on there. Field. Oh, yeah. That sticker's just in the pop protector. We didn't, like, stick it to the box. It's pretty cool. This is the Walmart, Walmart exclusive. Walmart exclusive, yeah. I think this one's a lot heavier than the others. Also, um... We also got this guy. We didn't the, just pick uh, The one with the knob. I think that's what they're calling it. With knob. The child with knob. The GameStop exclusive. It just went up for, um, pre-order. Okay. Then uh, also... This is what else we picked up from Walmart. We got Walmart. this from the Walmart. Mr. It Smith. was kind of hard finding a good box. They had quite a few, but a lot of them just had a little corner messed up and the or paint something on like his that. Belt. Yeah, and the, check the paint on them whenever y'all are going, because we it, we had a hard time finding one with a good paint job, like around the belt area. Yeah, there's like dots. Yeah, there was like black dots on the belt, and like the red wasn't right. This so make, like this is still such a good pop. Yeah, it's pretty like, cool. I would like to see a glow version of it, even oh, if, yeah. even if just his face or his teeth. If his oh, face yeah, and his teeth glow. Yeah, that'd be yeah. sweet. So, Where yeah, and we like it because it's in the old X Men box too. Yeah. I love the old X Men box. Yeah. Now, th these two you picked up yeah. at the comic book shop. We got the original Sally. That one's pretty cool. I like this one. This is from the original set. It's number 12. I mean, 16. And it's from the um, series 2 of Bob. We have our glow in the dark. Um, oh, yeah. Child that's cool. pop here. Buddy Elf, I, we, we said we were going to come to pick this up. Then we just waited, then they let us get it. It was the original Buddy Elf. This one's in holidays, not yeah, in movies. In, yeah, it's in um, the holidays instead of movies. And number number 10. 10 in holidays. Yeah, this is Yeah, and so cool. this is like the old pose. It's like so this different than the... This is not look good. I do. I like this one better than the yeah. newer ones. It looks, it looks bad, but in a good way. Yeah. Like, like, the, like the old pops just have like a, such a cool look to them. And then what else did we pick up? It's up there at the front. Oh yeah, this Agent Coulson pop. Mm -hmm. He was like forty bucks with the damaged box. Yeah, the box wasn't that great, but, but it's for, a I've been wanting it forever. So we have all the Agents of Shield. Yeah. We have a few customs that we've done. And we also the that, show that too. cool zombies, Mr. Me, Wolverine. That was oh, one yeah. and six. What is that one? One and six. Yeah, it's still okay. such a cool one. And on also, if you didn't tell, we have the Sharknado pop up here. Oh yeah, I forgot we picked that one up. Yeah, Sharknado. We we won. We couldn't pass it up, especially during Shark Week. Yeah, it, they didn't even have a price oh, on what it. What about Savage Finale sticker there with the shark on oh, it? Oh yeah, we might we could get a good picture with that. Yeah. So tell us if you've been watching Shark Week. We definitely have. Yeah. So this is a box from Funko Illuminati Sean. Oh, and hopefully y'all could hear us that first yeah, part. We didn't have the, the microphone, microphone plugged up. Maybe it just fell. We but don't know. No, it's plugged up, so we yeah. should be okay. Yeah. So this is from Sean at Funko Illuminati. Um so he lives in Canada where there's still Toys R Us. Yeah. And I didn't even know that these pops were still on Toys R Us's website. So he said, hey, if you want, um, I can um, I can buy them and get them shipped to his address and then just pay for shipping and stuff like that to get here. Yeah. So um, they got to his house and he repackaged them for me. And he sent me pictures and it, they're... And they are, and um, they were damaged, but it's okay because I've been wanting this pop for so long, and it's it's you this know it's it, really good. Yeah, and um, also there's there's another pop in here that I bought for him that he said was a little damaged, but I didn't see how damaged, so it's okay. Okay, just hand me out. Another pop. I think it's it's one of the last ones we needed for a set. Okay, so we got some bubble wrap there. Oh, just three sorters. Let's see. I'm trying to see. Is there a note? Here, check this one. Okay. 
Ready? I think this one. Oh. Okay, this is a different Batman. Oh, even at the Batman 80 years. Yeah, and see, it's got the, it's got the Toys R Us, it's got the Toys R Us Canada on it. Well, that's okay. This may. No, this one isn't the damaged one. Well, I don't know. It might be. It's a little bit in the corner damage, but it's not bad. That's fine. So, yeah. So, I ordered That's two of these. Cool Can I open this yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's why I wanted to order those from oh, the... another Batman. Okay. Yeah. We well, yeah, one of them, the top was really bad. See? Look at that yeah, one. Yeah, that's it. So, but that's okay. We'll probably take it out. He has the long neck. Yeah, that's why I said it's oh. just like that one. It's not yeah. like the Iron Man. So... That's okay. cool. Okay, then the last part that we, we literally wanted, that's his damn it's a loser. He said it was, I don't know, I haven't seen it. What do you mean damage? I don't see any damage. I don't know. The front of it looks good. Yeah, because a lot of these um, Umbrella Academy Pops, they're getting harder and harder to find. I don't know if they're going to start getting some value now that it, the second season's out. Why. Yeah. So... We really anything. appreciate him doing that because, you know, he had to run to the post office, repackage all this for us. And it doesn't look damaged to me. No. I guess it's fine. I don't see nothing wrong with it. So, okay. So this yeah, way. because you remember we used to be able to find these pops everywhere, and now they're getting harder and harder to find. I think the last one we need was the uh, the Chase. Um, then, yeah. Yeah. And then the Glow in the Dark Van Wu. We yeah, don't need that. That's okay. Charge on the Hazel. He doesn't care. Like, we don't care. Yeah. About. But like a lot of the other ones I found for like four or five dollars on Walmart, but then they're getting harder, harder and harder to find too. So I don't know. You might see these on Pops on the Rise next. So oh, I don't you want to pop one out? Oh, yeah. Let's look at this one out. This one's probably going to look cool. We have the full set of the Umbrella Academies, counting one of the chases. Yeah, you oh, found the number five chase yeah, at um, Barnes and Noble. Oh, was it Barnes and Noble? Yeah, I, I've never found a chase there. We're just sitting there. Check him out. Oh, this one's a lot lighter than I thought. That one's so cool, ain't it? <laughs> and I t and I told him I said I might use the second one for a custom and make a, a Robin custom. Oh yeah, that'd that would be, be cool. Paint it and then uh, make a hard. box for it. That wouldn't be that hard. If you but you it see it. how it says. Toys R Us Canada on the box right there and the stickers, Toys R Us Canada. Look, it's got the maple leaf in the middle. That's cool. Sweet, huh? I didn't realize it did that. Yeah. Maple leaf? See, it's in the middle of the R. Oh, yeah. So this one you can only get in Canada? Yeah. Well, remember at the beginning it was supposed to come out at um, Target, which was really Fresh. weird. It was going to be a Target exclusive, yeah. So, all right, finish your video up, bud. Yeah. So this is all that we got today. So this box from the two Jeffrey's Batmans, mm -hmm. then the cross by Sean at Funko Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Then the other ones we just picked up. So yep. So thanks to Sean for help helping us do this. Yep. So make sure you like and subscribe. Does he have anything to check him out on? Yeah. Okay. He's got a YouTube channel. Oh, he does? So go check out Funko Illuminati. Mm -hmm. So make sure you like and subscribe to us too. Also, subscribe to him. Leave a comment or something. Nice comment. Okay, so it's another episode of Stack and Pops. Bye, Snack and Pops. There's the army. Stack and, Snack and Pops army. Boy.